In today's breaking news, we have busted in on your normal scheduled broadcasting to bring you the latest and greatest news as we receive it. On today's front, we have just received word that the gimbal has arrived. I repeat, the gimbal has arrived. And as our President Trump would say, this is huge. I mean, this this gimbal business, it's it's huge. And back to you on the front of Information Station JW, where you can get quality information and reviews that you can rely on. Back to you, John. And we are back with another episode of Information Station JW. You guys have just received that breaking news bulletin. Yes. And for those of you that have not seen part one to this segment, I encourage you to go take a look at video one. And this video here will make sense to you. And um, I just won't sound like I'm talking at random. Now, moving forward. Okay. So, you guys know I've been waiting on this thing to get here. I had two dud units. They sent me a third one. And I know you guys are wondering, is this a dud? Or is, this, is it a stud? I'm happy to tell you guys that today, I have sitting beside me a stud unit. That's right, a stud unit. Uh, this has been trial and error, but you know what? Um, I'm going to say this. When I got the first two units and they failed, I could have really just quit right there and just left the review there. But, you know, I figured just to give this thing the benefit of the doubt, I had a lot of people that made comments about, you know, hey, it's operator error or you didn't have the right phone in there or there was something that you didn't do. Well, well listen, if you had have read the first description in the first video, you would have seen that I used both phones, okay? Utilizing this new one, I've also used both phones, which seem to operate just fine. So, by default, what does that tell us? That tells us that the first two units were broke, okay? They were broke. And guess what? If it's broke, it's broke, all right? Fortunately, I have a unit that is working and uh, as long as it stays working, I will be uh, pleased with that. But if it breaks, guess what? We got another failed unit. But for now, I've had an opportunity to do a field test with it. I took this gimbal out to the Memphis Botanic Garden. For those that don't know about it, I encourage you to look up, uh, do a Google search on it. Uh, if you live in Memphis, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with it. But basically, this place is like 96, acre, 96 acres. You got ponds, lakes, all type of uh, wildlife and flowers. I thought it'd be a great place to feature this and just kind of go out there and do some nice, smooth transitions and pans. And um, what I've also done is taken the liberty upon unboxing this. I went into uh, this app and I reset the parameters of the app to have a slower uh, pan motion. Okay, out of the box, this thing was way too fast, way too fast. Set on like something like 25. So I'm gonna show you guys here in a minute a video of which you can go in and change these settings so right out of the box, you can have something to work with. Now, granted, I didn't go through all of the settings, um, just something that you can do right out of the box so that you can go on ahead and have it up and running the same day, okay? If you want that nice cinematic pan, you know the matrix thing? I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let me show you how to do that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, at this point, let you guys see, because it's only fair for the last two that I've had, they didn't turn on. So I'm going ahead and turn this thing on, let you guys see, yes, it is working. That's off. Da 
No. Well, let me tell you, that was my fault. That was operator error because it was already on and I was so quick to go on ahead and show you guys, I ended up turning the unit off, okay? So, now that it's on, the gimbal is working. The gimbal is working. It's working. The gimbal is working. Bam. So there we go. Third unit, stud. All right, at this point, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go on ahead and uh, see you on the other side of this video, let you guys see how to go in here and set the parameters. And uh, I'll be back with some footage of the Memphis Botanic Garden. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, what I wanted to do is um, do a uh, screenshot for you guys or recording uh, just to kind of um, give you guys some, you know, um, instruction on how to just go in and do some simple uh, modifications. Uh, straight out of the box, I haven't really changed too much of the perimeters within the app. If you haven't already downloaded this app, you're going to go to the, um, you know, Play Store or in your case, if you have an iOS, uh, go to the iTunes Store and download the Zhiyun Assistant, okay? Uh, once you download that to your phone, you're going to open up the app and you're going to want to pair it with the gimbal unit. So you'll have to make sure you do that because if you don't pair it, you will not be able to open up the app and access uh, the settings to change. So once you download that app, you'll go in and right there is where you're going to want to click settings. So click that. And then you're going to look for control rate. Okay. That's going to be that right there, control rate. And once you click it, basically it opens up a little toggle wheel. Okay and you just put your finger right there in the middle and it'll toggle up now out of the box this came and the settings were 25 I think that's way too fast and you know once you kind of open up the app and you're able to see the different uh, speeds that you can set you'll kind of see out of the box that you know it just pans too fast it's just way too fast at 25 so what I did I went down here and set that to 7 alright so once you set that to 7 you just go in here and individually click each one roll access you would do the same thing and you just kind of tailor you know that to what your liking is or you know what's you know conducive for you so that's the only three pan axis was the other one these are the only three parameters that I set now the pitch reverse I want to show you that as well joystick orientation now I changed this because basically you know it's just a matter of preference out of the box once you push up on the joystick you know it will tilt downwards if I'm not mistaken um, I changed it to do the opposite when I'm pushing up I want the um, pitch access to uh, go up if you will and same thing as going you know when you push down on the little wheel or joystick I want it to t you know tilt downwards um, coming out of the box it did the opposite of that so uh, that's another thing that you can change right there in joystick orientation uh, you can see right there I have that turned on okay roll reverse and pan reverse you can also change those but out of the box that was the only thing uh, that I changed the pitch reverse will turn that on and then go to your control rate and kind of change and play around with those percentages and that will give you a nice fluid uh, pan pitch roll and um, you know just play around with it and see you know what you like I haven't had you know an opportunity to really get in here and just you know see what all it can do um, but for the most part those are some of the things that you'll want to do um, as you're unboxing the unit and basically setting it up you want to go in here and change that because I can tell you that it will be way too fast and defeats the purpose of actually using it. So uh, that being said, um, hopefully that helps you guys at least, you know, getting it up and going out of the box. And uh, just wanted to show you guys that quick tutorial. All right. All right, Information Station JW here with you guys again. I am excited today because I have the opportunity to actually use this gimbal unit. I have received this third unit 
uh, have done some preliminary testing, seems to be working well. So I am here today at, on site, the Memphis Botanic Garden and figured this would be a good place to feature this gimbal unit and see what kind of uh, footage I can get with it. So what I'm going to do is just do a little walking and do a little talking. As you can see, the gimbal unit actually works pretty good in terms of panning and actually just getting some good, nice, tight shots. Here's a beautiful waterfall. Looks pretty good. So far, so good. The video looks like it's all over the place. I'm just kind of testing out the motors just to kind of get a feel for uh, the gimbal unit. I did go in and I set the perimeters to pan. I set it all at seven, so you can go in and kind of custom to whatever you like in terms of speed. All right. Good deal. Nice fluid motion. Alright, so we're walking and we're walking. And we have all kind of attractions here. That's the botanical garden. A lot of nice sites. I'm told that there's 96 acres here. If you guys are expecting me to walk 96 acres, that's not gonna happen today. However, I will get some shots and kind of feature what this device does so that you guys can get an idea pretty much what you're getting. All right, and we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. All right, so we are now coming up on what appears to be the Koi Pond. 
Now this is something to see. Well, as you can see, a lot of great footage of just simply allowing the gimbal to pan and go back and forth from different angles. And as you can see, this place actually is very tranquil, quiet, and uh, a lot of nature trails and paths that you can go down and check out the different plants and flowers. So, so far I'm impressed. Um, I did tell you guys I would come back with a third, a second video and uh, kind of put this thing to the test and see if it would uphold to what I've been seeing. So far, so good. But 96 acres, my goodness. I don't see how you can do it. You give me a little golf cart or something. But there's a lot of beautiful uh, places out here to, to, to just kind of take in a lot of sights. And it is hot out here. And look at those nice pans. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, and we're back. So there you have it. Um, actually, I'm quite impressed with this unit. I've had an opportunity to really just play around with this thing. And uh, it does give nice smooth transitions. And one thing about me, if um, something works, it works. And then when it doesn't work, I'll tell you guys, it doesn't work. So this is the third unit. And actually I did get this one from another supplier. So perhaps that had something to do with it. Either way, this third one is a stud. So that's a good thing. And I'm happy for that because I have an opportunity now to utilize this device and hopefully do hold on, hopefully do some uh, good vlogging with it. So I will see you guys on the other side of this video with my final thoughts and observations.
hopefully you guys enjoyed some of that footage and was able to at least see what this thing does and how smoothly it moved and panned uh, with the settings that uh, I showed you guys in the earlier uh, segment. Uh, hopefully that was helpful to some of you guys and uh, you can kind of go in there and do the same thing and adjust it to, you know, whatever is, you know, suitable for your liking. Uh, that being said, um, final recommendations and uh, comments. I would say that uh, this is a um, dependable unit. Um, again, I could have just at the first failure just said, hey, you know, forget about it. It doesn't work. Um, but I knew that with the reviews that I was seeing and the videos that I watched on the unit that um, it was pretty impressive. You know, however, uh, we just had to get past two of them before we can get to the real deal. Okay, fortunately, we were able to uh, do a field test with it, and uh, we've got some successful um, shots and operation, and uh, I'm pleased with it. So, uh, my recommendation is that uh, for this stud unit, I would say that uh, two thumbs up, which is the highest that you can get with my thumb system. And for those that don't know what that is, uh, you got a one thumb, one and a half, and two. Two thumbs up. So, go out and get you one, okay? Go out and get you one. Uh, recommendation on these um, are pretty high. Uh, they seem to be a pretty uh, popular um, item. You can get them right now for about 125 I believe, on Amazon, or possibly one. 35 140 I don't know but they were running a sale on them about a week ago so there you have it this is the G young Z young smooth Q now we know what to do and now it's all on you all right that being said we're going to sign off on another episode and you have been with information station JW where you can get information and reviews that you can count on. Until next time, peace.